Hey, what's up? This is Hellgen X. I want to do a quick tutorial on how to sample using FL Studio. Now, I have a lot of other music software. I got a Mac as well. Um, I feel that FL Studio is quite frankly the easiest to sample with, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm, now, I'm not sure if my way is the, the way you're supposed to do it. You know, everybody has their own unorthodox ways, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So, let's say, for example, um, I, I don't know where you're getting your music from. But I sample my records, or sometimes I download an MP3, but I'll usually end up buying the vinyl anyway. But uh, here's what I do. So I have a folder. I put my music in. Uh, I was listening to this m Tune song. I like the kicks from it. It's kind of that old school hip hop. So let's, let's give this a little listen. Um, for example, we're going to play this song right now. Alright, that's my personal uh, opinion now. I really like those kicks and I like the snares and everything. So let's say for example we wanted to use this this uh song, right? So I'm gonna open up FL Studio. Let me let me put it in a uh, windowed mode so that we can see the window. Excuse the lag, my computer's kinda old. So I'm gonna open that folder and I'm just gonna drag the MP3 right into the playlist make sure you have the playlist open in your FL studio because that's where you want to drop it if you drop it into a sampler it's just going to be a sample and then you have to go through the old the old school way of cutting oh by the way this is FL studio 12 excuse me so i'm going to drag this in here i'm going to let it go and now we have it inside of FL studio now i like to uh zoom out first when i lay down the sample to see uh, how long it is, look at the wavelength, you know, see if there's any places I want to chop. But for now, like I said, I just like the, the kick and the drums. So I'm going to zoom all the way in. I'm going to drag this all the way to the beginning. Now, this is a very important thing you need to know. You need to know how to slice. So to slice, you got to hold right shift. It used to be both shifts in the older versions. But I think since FL Studio tw uh, 11, maybe 10 or 11, it's only right shift. So I'm going to hold down shift, but I'm also going to hold down alt because if you hold down shift, you see how it's kind of, it just, it just moves to like a grid, like its own grid. But if you hold alt, uh, actually, I'm sorry, <laughs> when you zoom all the way in, it'll, it'll most likely do a, a, le a more precise chop either way. But you know, if you're zoomed out a bit more, it, you see it'll snap to the grid so if you zoom all the way in you have it nice and smooth so I want to cut out the beginning of this sample right here so you see that it snaps real nice right to the beginning a little bit a little bit uh, is getting clipped out but it's probably just the start of the kick drum it's not a big deal so I'm gonna snip that out and then I'm gonna drag that all the way over here so you see we got the kick and since you heard the way the beginning of that song sounded, it means that this is obviously the snare. So sometimes, just to be a little bit more precise, I'll drag down the tempo, or BPM, and just snap it there like that. And then, if you hold your right click on your mouse on this black bar right here, and slide it down, you see you get this red marker, which means where your loop points are going to be. So I'm gonna play this, and this is gonna be where the loop point is. Also, if you wanna find sh if you wanna fine tune the uh, tempo, like you see how it's a little bit off right there, you could just drag down from right here on the on the uh, tempo mark, and you see how it's just slowly going down. So that might be a bit where it needs to be. It doesn't. This part you don't need to worry about because we're gonna we're gonna cut this anyway. But let's play it from here, and let's see if it's in tempo. And this is this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. But uh just to match it up, let's see. Alright, so that's obviously in beat. So this part was a little bit off, but it's okay. But let's play it let's drag if you hold the right click down where your marker is, and let's say I'm at the end of the marker, it's gonna continue that loop point. So I'm going to drag it down all the way over here and we're going to see how that sounds all together. Alright, cool. So you see, now you got yourself a little sample right there. 
so that's just that's just a kick that's kind of boring obviously so what we're gonna do is or what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do the same thing again now i had another song over here that i like it's from earth wind and fire and it has an it actually has a fire sound in the beginning so let's give this a little listen I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm a sucker for chords, so I'm going to drag this chord down in here. Let's let that load up. So this one, it, it's, it's, a low, it's a low audio sample, meaning like the uh, volume is low, so you can't really see much of the waveform, but if you hold Alt and use your, your mouse wheel, you can kind of zoom into the wavelength which is what I'm doing right now, as you can see. So now we can get some in-tune uh, chopping. So I'm gonna hold that right shift again and hold Alt. I always hold Alt regardless of what I said before. And we can just drag it down. No more, you could fine tune the beginning of it in Edison at any time, but I'm just gonna do it like this for now. And I wanna actually, you know, zoom out of this wavelength because it looks a little messy like that. And put them together. Now let's hear how, let's hear how they sound together. Alright, so that's pretty much the start of what you're going to be sampling if you were doing the same thing as me, obviously. But So, if I'm looking right here, if you look right here, this little point right around here, you see this looks like the beginning of the next part of the chord. So what I'm going to do is, and this is what I always do, like you see this part over here, this obviously means this is where the song really kicks in. So I'm going to chop out that part, and then I'm going to right click on this one right here, and that will remove it for now. Um, I don't want to go too in depth of how to, uh, d you know, do do the rest with the timing and all. But you see these this key right here, the stretch key. This is you really want to know what this does. I'm gonna just show you a little bit. So basically, if you click out the stretch where you don't see the dot, you can actually drag from wherever your sample is. So let's say like you just wanted it here for now, right? But then on another part of the song, you take the same sample by copying it, which is you just click on it and then place it here, but you wanted it to complete all the way to here. If you have the dot out of your stretch mark, <laughs> I know that sounds funny, I'm sorry. But anyway, you just drag that out, which is cool. If you have stretch in, it'll actually stretch the whole sample uh, time, tempo, and BPM wise. And I'm not going to do it now because it will take a long time to actually stretch it out. But we're not going to be doing that anyway. So just make sure you know that if that's what you want to do, you got to always remember in the stretch area. So anyway, I'm going to actually just, uh, I'm going to leave the stretch on for now. And I'm going to hold Alt. And I'm going to go right to the corner of the sample. And I'm going to just move it. And so like I was saying, this is the probably beginning of the second part of the chord. So I'm going to drag this one down right to about here, like right on that line, because that looks like where it's going to start. So now I'm going to un unclick stretch and I'm going to move that all the way down over here. And I'm going to hold alt because that gives you a fine, a fine tuning. And I'm going to just stretch it to the bar. Now let's give that a listen. Okay, that sounds stupid right now. And like I was saying before, I just like the kick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this sample in half. I'm going to right click on it to remove it. And I'm going to left click on this. And I'm going to place the same thing again. So now let's hear how this sounds rather than having that funky uh, bass line come in. Let's increase the uh, volume on this part here. See, now it's coming along like a nice little beat. Also, let's say for example, um, you just wanted to stay within the playlist with the samples, right? And you just want to repeat this kick, right? So what I like to do is, let's say, you see how you got this long area of blankness? 
So the, the more you zoom in, the more lines you can see, the grid lines. So I like to cut it right, let's say like here where it's silent. It means that I got the whole part of the sample in there. So if I wanted like a double kick here, I could do that. I simply slice it here and then click on it to copy it. And then I'll just paste it wherever I want. Now let's hear how that sounds. There you go. That's how you do it. I'm going to do a little bit more so you can see all the things that are possible. Uh, I'm going to stop talking. But if you have any questions, simply just comment. Um, you can go to my website. It's www.nynippon.com, like in Japan. Uh, yeah, just feel free to ask me any questions. I hope this helped you out. And uh, have, a, have a dope ass day. Peace.